Hello and welcome back to Virtual NSUIC Craft Time. I'm still one of your hosts, Melissa Wallach. Today we're going to be making cloud dough. Now as fun as this craft is, it is kind of messy, so you might need the help of a parent. Alright, what are you going to need? Some measuring cups, a fourth of a cup and half a cup, two plastic spoons, one for the lotion and one for the cornstarch, the food coloring of your choice, doesn't matter which color, cornstarch, a bowl, lotion, and flour. And after you've gotten all those things, go ahead and grab some newspaper or a trash bag to make a mess on. Now, after that, step number one is going to be the bowl. You're going to get your bowl right in front of you right there. And you're going to grab your half a cup measuring cup. You're going to fill that with lotion and put it in the bowl. Alright, and you can go ahead and use the plastic spoon to help get all that out. Alright, so once you've done that, you've got your lotion at the bottom of the bowl here. And this step is kind of important, so whatever color you want to make your cloud dough, go ahead and get that color out right now. I'm just going to put two drops in, and uh, you're going to go ahead and mix that together. Alright, once you're done, now you have colored lotion. Um, but we're going to make this some cloud dough, so we're going to need our cornstarch next. So you're going to take the cornstarch and you're going to need three-fourths of a cup. Alright, now that you have your cornstarch in there, you can go ahead and mix that, or you can add the flour next and then mix it all when you're done. I'm going to mix it and then add flour. Alright, it's flour time. Now there's a point when it starts to separate into these little tiny uh, mini cloud doughs, so what you're going to want to do is use your hands to mix it all together. Alright, once you're done mixing, you have successfully made cloud dough. It's super fun to play with and you can make as much or as little as you want. Um, I suggest that if you're going to keep this for a while, make sure you put it in a plastic bag. It is not tested on carpets, animals, or bedding, so I do advise you there. Other than that, that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching.